17 days into December and you've not bought something for an aunt. Uh, the <laughs> very thing about that is like 10 or 11 people just went, oh, fuck! <laughs> Stop. Aunts.com. Uh, don't know what that website is. It might be porn. It's the internet. It's probably porn. Today we're going to talk about game nine in the top 25 games of the decade. And game number nine is a game that I think... I think... I think it's really fucking good. And that game is Red Dead Redemption. The first one, I'm going to point this out now, the first one, because the first one taught us a lot of things. Uh, it's one of the first open world games where I don't fuck about and slaughter everybody. Like, the, the structure of the game, I feel like Rockstar finally got the idea of making you want to play as a good person. You know, you, you play as a, a good guy. And that's so weird in a rock in an open world sandbox you play as the good guy. And also, it told a story that was really well paced, which again is something really rare. I don't think it's Rockstar's best game. I think that's Bully, just because I think the atmosphere of Bully is something I understand and know, and I think they captured it really well. I fucking love Vice City, but that game came out 17 years ago. But that is just, again, it's that environment stuff. But Red Dead caught that environment, it caught the, the that vibe of the Old West, that sort of the... the you know, you cross to Mexico, that song plays, you cry for literally ever. It it got that. It just added... And it, the, the stuff you could do, it almost added roleplay elements by accident. Like, your fucking horse. I kept my horse alive for the whole thing. In my video, when that horse dies, that was legitimately my horse from the... That was the first fucking horse I caught in the game. And I, when it died, like, that was genuine... Like, I made sure I didn't fucking save because I wanted to keep that horse alive. And it added little bits like that. And I walked everywhere. I never, I didn't fast travel. I, if, I, if I was going to fast travel in place, I would get on the train and do it like that. I, I, I would walk. If I was walking down the town, I would walk. I wouldn't sprint. I'd just savour it. I'd take it in. And it was so... That atmosphere, that thick, beautiful atmosphere, it just made me want to take it in. I think that's the mistake Red Dead Redemption 2 is it kind of tried to force you to take in that atmosphere. It's like it will force you to walk slow in the camp and it forced you to, you know, pick up your beans individually. Well, by tin, not for one, two, three, four, you know. And I, I think, you know, it lost something there that Red Dead Redemption had, which is Red Dead made me want to savour its world, and Red Dead 2 tried to force me to savour its world. And Red Dead, I think, is just... I mean, the gunplay was just such a fucking step up, and everything about it was so good. Undead Nightmare is one of the best fucking expansion packs of all time. Uh, it was just, it, it was a cracking game. I said cracking, so I'm not Wallace or Cromit, I'll have you know that. But yeah, I just, I think that a lot of lessons of, like, texture were learnt from Red Dead Redemption and texturing your open worlds and making them feel alive and making people want to explore and see these places. And I'm thinking about that song, I'm going to start crying again. 